Hi everyone, this is a short overview of my prime version of the apartment development model. The purpose of this video is to give you an idea of what to expect after you choose to download. In addition to this, I have prepared a longer, more detailed video guide to this model which will be available for you after purchase. The model consists of 8 main tabs. Let's start from the assumptions tab and then move forward. Here I have collected all of the inputs which do drive the model. See all of the blue fonted numbers? These can be safely adjusted without breaking the model. So you can choose the analysis starting date, the main details for the property, number of units, uh, the size of the building, the development budget, the timing of the construction where you can choose the period for construction, any delays, the, and the date for the sale of the entire project. Rental assumptions, where you can choose the rental rates for the residential and commercial units. Rental absor absorption and timing, this is where you choose the number of months it will take you to lease up the property to 100%. And then you apply the stabilized vacancy. If you can choose 5% or 0% depending on whether you want your property to be 100 occupied within the holding period or you want to be on the safe side and apply some stabilized vacancy. Operating expenses assumptions calculated at the percentage of revenue. I have included the exit assumptions where you can choose the cap rate which will be applied to the in place and why. To get to the exit sell price, sell co and sell costs are also flexible. Little DCF valuation assumption, gross rates, and project financing. We can choose this um, financial structure. If you don't want to have mezzanine loan included with zero, though the initial equity will adjust automatically. Let's assume there is a mezzanine for now. Development loan assumptions and the refinancing of the development loan and the mezzanine loan assumptions and the waterfall where you can choose the contribution coming from JV partners and IRR hurdles. They prefer to the return is 8%, 12 etc. And the dashboard. Let's move to the dashboard. Where I can, if we have included some charts, the main details of investment, annual cash flow, DCR, cash and cash, a little NPV calculation, and present you the main metrics like IRR, equity multiple, net profit, equity contribution, both on the project level and the JV level for limited partners and general partners. Cash flow, uh, annual cash flow, monthly cash flow, draw schedule, where you can see the sources of uses of capital, and you see what are the amounts of the construction costs financed from equity or from senior loan or method in capital. And then, of course, the financing of both senior uh, construction loan and mezzanine construction loans. Operations, where you have the calculations, the breakdown of revenue for, uh, sorry, residential units and commercial units, where you can come to net operating income. Project financing, which breaks down the interest amortization, any fees related to the construction loan, the refinancing of the construction loan with a permanent loan and the mezzanine financing with their payment. And common equity waterfall with all three hurdles and the breakdown for distributions and contributions to both partners. You can see IRR and equity multiple calculations for both 
general partners and limited partners. So this is it about the model. I hope this is helpful for you. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a good day.